the 2019 Subaru Ascent is headed into the extremely crowded and competitive three-row segment, where it'll go up against Japanese rivals Toyota Highlander, Nissan Pathfinder, Honda Pilot, Mazda CX-9, and American entries like the Ford Explorer, Chevy Traverse, Dodge Durango and Jeep Grand Cherokee, and upstart contenders like the Volkswagen Atlas. Most come standard with a V6 engine, while Ford and Mazda also have four-cylinder turbo engines. What's interesting, the new Ascent will tow up to 5,000 pounds with its new 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine. How will the new Ascent compete with the competition? It's what's under the hood that will give Ascent an advantage. Subaru engineers developed a new power plant for the Ascent that has not been used in any other Subaru model. It gets the new FA24 Boxer engine with the latest direct injection and other internal upgrades for the best power and towing versus fuel efficiency. Most three-row SUV crossover buyers don't care about the specs of the new 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder Boxer, all they want to know is will it have enough power to haul your family cargo and a trailer. What sets the new FA24 Boxer apart? The 2019 Subaru Ascent gets an all-new FA24 2.4-liter Boxer engine developed just for the new three-row family hauler. It features all-aluminum heads and block, to reduce weight and allows for more rapid warm-up. The internals include heads with dual overhead cams, driven by a timing chain rather than a belt actuating 16 valves with variable timing. It has a total engine displacement of 2,387 cc's with a 94 mm bore and an 86 mm stroke. The compression ratio is 10.6 to 1 which keeps cylinder pressures high for efficiency. It also features the newest direct injection technology and a twin scroll turbocharger. The most important spec is not the 260 horsepower and at 5,600 RPMs the new FA24 engine develops, it's the broad peak torque band of 277 pounds FT between 2,000 and 4,800 RPMs that will get gearheads excited and it's what consumers will feel when they drive the new three-row SUV. This is what will get the new 2019 Ascent moving from a start, power it at altitude up steep mountain passes, and it will allow the largest vehicle Subaru has ever built to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Subaru announced estimated fuel economy for the base and premium models with standard equipment is up to 21-27 city highway MPG and 23 combined MPG offering a 500 plus mile cruising range. Models equipped with 20 inches wheels achieve manufacturer's estimated fuel economy of 20-26 city highway MPG and 22 combined MPG. The largest vehicle Subaru has ever built doesn't get a six-cylinder engine, it gets the new FA24 four-cylinder boxer engine with enough torque to meet an active family's needs. The all-new 3-row 2019 Subaru Ascent arrives at Subaru showrooms this summer. In a recently held Reddit AMA session, Kimball Musk shared a number of details about his fully loaded Tesla Model 3, revealing some unique aspects of the electric car he is giving away as part of his non-profit's latest fundraiser. According to Elon Musk's brother, Kimball, his blue Tesla is quite special in the way that it is quite literally one of the first Model 3s to be made. Being the number 006, Kimball stated that his car was manufactured rather differently than most Model 3s on the road today. Musk also expressed his fondness for his vehicle, calling it one of the most beautiful cars in the world. Musk said in his AMA, The most special thing about my Model 3 that I'm giving away is that it is one of the first ever made. The early models are made a lot by hand, and it is one of the most beautiful cars in the world. It is so special to imagine someone out there having one of the first Model 3s in the world. While most of Kimball's Reddit AMA was dedicated to his food and farming programs, he did mention Big Green's Model 3 raffle again. 
responding to a member of the online community who asked if his Model 3 would include any special items, Kimball candidly stated that there would indeed be other freebies for the lucky winner of his non-profit fundraiser. What's more, Musk stated that he would be happy to sign the electric car, effectively making his Model 3 even more unique. Showing a dash of classic Musk humor, Kimball quipped that after he gives away his personal Model 3, he is planning to start walking more. On a rather humorous note, Kimball revealed that he had an opportunity to send a special package with Starman during the Falcon Heavy's maiden flight. According to Kimball, he was supposed to write a letter that would be placed together with the Roadster's other cargo, but he ended up struggling with what he really wanted to say. Thus, he ultimately just decided to watch his older brother's electric car get launched into space. Kimball wrote in his AMA, I had an opportunity to send a letter up, but when I sat down to write it, I really struggled on what to say. In the end, I decided to just take the whole thing in and enjoy the launch. Kimball also responded to a query asking if he would help his brother's Mars colonization plan with his mastery of organic farming and food production. While Kimball seemed careful to not divulge any concrete information about a partnership with SpaceX, he did joke about what he would call his Martian food company. According to Musk, his Martian firm will be called All Your Food I Belong To Us. Kimball's joke about his Martian food firm is a direct reference to Zero Wing, a game for the Sega Genesis released in 1992. The game, which was originally in Japanese, was ported to the West, though its dialogue featured some of the most iconic instances of English mistranslations in gaming history, the most prominent of which was the memworthy sentence All Your Base Are Belong To Us. In a recent report, Kimball Musk is giving away his personal early edition Model 3 to a lucky donor for Big Green, his non-profit food literacy program for children in public schools. Anyone interested in acquiring the rare, signed Model 3 could put in donations for the non-profit, with as little as $10 translating to 100 entries for the mass-market electric car. The new Nissan LEAF is a shining star, make that five stars. The zero-emission, 100% electric vehicle, which boasts Nissan's cutting-edge autonomous pro-pilot technology, has been awarded a five-star rating for safety from the Japan New Car Assessment Program JNCAP. Out of a possible score of 100, the Nissan LEAF earned 94.8 for occupant safety in a collision as well as successfully passed the electric shock protection test administered by the Japan New Car Assessment Program. Nissan reports, the test gauges how well electric vehicles protect occupants from electric shock in a collision. The car has a highly protective battery case, a layout and body structure that shield occupants from high-voltage parts and a high-voltage cutoff device that activates in a collision. Safety technologies that help the new Nissan LEAF achieve the highest level of safety rating include seats with enforced headrests and back frames, 6 SRS airbags, seat belts with pretensioners and load-limiting capabilities for the rear and front outboard seats and a highly rigid body frame. According to Nissan, First introduced in 2010, the Nissan LEAF is the world's best-selling electric vehicle. The all-new version comes with a number of advanced technologies including ProPilot technology for autonomous single-lane driving on highways and the ProPilot Park Autonomous Parking System. It also features e-pedal, which lets drivers accelerate and brake by operating only the accelerator pedal. The 2018 Nissan LEAF is available in three trims, S, SV, and SL. Each trim is equipped with a 110 kilowatts AC synchronous electric motor, which generates 147 horsepower and 236 pounds FT of torque. The new Nissan LEAF earns an EPA estimated range of 151 miles. Ahead of its arrival in dealership showrooms this summer, 
Subaru announced pricing for its newest and largest ever vehicle. The Golden Retriever approved 2019 Ascent 3 Row Crossover, built at the Japanese automaker's Indiana Assembly Plant, will kick off pricing at $32,970, with destination charges included. All trim levels of the new Ascent get a 260 horsepower, 2.4 liter, boxer 4 turbo engine with a CVT and all wheel drive as standard. Standard fare on the base trim includes an 8 passenger seating setup, tri zone climate control, 4 USB ports, a 6.5 inch touchscreen equipped with Subaru Starlink infotainment tag, featuring standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone projection technology, 18 inch alloy wheels, active torque vectoring, a whopping 19 cup holders, and Subaru's eyesight crash avoidance tag which includes automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning and adaptive cruise control. Stepping up to the premium trim ticks the price up to $35,170, while adding optional 7-passenger seating thanks to second-row captain's chairs. Other additions with the trim include blind spot monitoring with rear cross-traffic alert, heated body color side mirrors, chrome exhaust tips heated front seats, stain-resistant cloth upholstery, rear climate controls, leather-wrapped steering wheel and shifter, privacy glass, windshield de-isser, power-adjustable driver's seat, and a larger 8-inch Starlink touchscreen in the cockpit equipped with 4G LTE Wi-Fi. The premium trim has two optional packages available, one with navigation and one without. Shelling out an extra $4,260 gets you the NAV system along with 20-inch wheels, keyless access, rear automatic emergency braking, an auto-dimming rearview mirror, panoramic sunroof, and power liftgate. Opting out of the navigation system deletes the 20-inch wheels, but the rest of those features only cost a $1,460 premium. Jumping up to the limited trim brings with it leather seating, heated second-row seats to keep the dogs warm, second-row sunshades, LED headlights and fog lights, automatic high beams, proximity entry and push-button start, four-weight power adjustable passenger seat, adjustable driver's seat thigh support, two extra USB ports, heated steering wheel and more chrome trim all for $39,970. A bundled option featuring a 14-speaker Harman Kardon stereo, panoramic sunroof and navigation can be it for an extra $2,950. For those who want to shuttle their outdoorsy family with all the bells and whistles can have the $45,670 touring trim with fake wood trim, cold front seats, a front camera, rain-sensing wipers, yet another two USB ports, even more chrome accents, Touring exclusive brown leather, third row sunshades, a 120 volt outlet, a digital LCD rearview camera mirror and silver side mirrors. The Touring trim only comes in a 7 passenger configuration. Fuel economy figures for the 2019 Ascent are estimated as 21 mpg city and 27 mpg highway. Opting for those 20 inch wheels drops both figures by 1 mpg. While the Ascent is cheaper than the Mazda CX-9 $33,105 starting MSRP, it's pricier than the base Volkswagen Atlas $31,675, Chevrolet Traverse $30,925, Hyundai Santa Fe $31,830 and Honda Pilot $31,875.